Back here at the Powell Athletic Center, 88-65, the final score here this afternoon as Lindsey Wilson defeats the Lady Tigers. And, Coach, when it's not your day, it's not your day. Yeah, that's a tough one, isn't it? You know, when, um, when you come out, I and mean, we've been, we're tired, and you can't come out tired against a team like that. And we expended a lot of energy against Cumberland U. I knew coming in here today would be a tough one, but it's not going to change. So if we can't get mentally tougher, then we're going to struggle with that. Um, there's nothing we can do to change it. They're, they're going Every time we go and play a conference opponent, they're going to be fresh. Yeah. And um, our bench, I was super disappointed in our bench today uh, for the most part. You know, I thought we had some kids that played hard, but we just, uh, you know, didn't really fall through with our game plan and fall through with what we needed to do. And, um, you know, we've got some kids that I've tried to play, wanted to play, but we're just not getting the job done, so we're going to have to go back. The beauty of it all is we finally have a week we finally have a week to to work on some things. And you know, I told the girls yesterday at the end of practice, I said, I really feel like we've played 20 games. Uh, I feel like we have just played so many games and we've just had to grind so much. And, uh, you know, so that's the, that's the difference. We're just, uh, I thought we were physically tired and you can't be physically tired and then come in mentally weak against a team that good. And, uh, you know, I think I've told you, I've told several people, I think this is the best team in the nation. And, uh, Hands down, I, I know, uh, you know, a lot of people think maybe some of, of uh, there's other teams that have a, a, a legitimate gripe about that, but I've said it all along. I really do believe this is the most talented team in the country. And, you know, they showed today. They just took it to us time and time again. Well, I know I mentioned to Matt as the game was going on there in the second half. I said, Matt, it looks like we're tired. Yeah, we're killed. And we after are, the we couple are. of game going in overtime on Thursday, not much preparation yeah, time, not much Yeah, and then we rest. come back from Jackson last weekend. And then, then so we just, we've had no time. We've genuinely had no time in the gym to work on things. And uh, it's just they, the kids were tired. Um, it's just that simple, and there's there's no excuse for that. That Lindsey Wilson's very good. I don't take that from them. And you just can't you can't come out against them. But when we go to Lindsey, you know you're, you're going to be the same thing. Yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, we just have to find some kids that can play. And we've got to find some physical toughness, and we got to find some mental toughness. Um, but yeah, I feel like we were on our heels the whole game. We cut it a couple times, and then just made some horrible mental mistakes that you just can't make that traditionally these teams just don't make and uh, so you know that's that's part of it our team knows how to win they know how to find ways to win and and we'll find a way to win we'll find a way eventually to at least compete and uh, you know that gives us something we played um, you know our own two losses you sit and think maybe we've tanked but our only two losses are the number two and number five ranked teams in the country and again um, I feel like Lindsay's the one team in the country, and I feel like Westmont's the two team in the country. Yeah. And that's not to take away because, you know, we, we saw that Champions Classic, and there's some great teams down there. But I uh, watched Lindsay a lot. I've watched Westmont a lot. So I feel like we've probably lost to the two best teams I out there. Agree. I would agree. They had six players in double figures today. It just shows you yeah. how deep they go. And when we – that, that's partly my fault, too. We started pressing, and we were tired. But I just kept thinking if we could get a little bit of a run. So that the, – the big deficit – and. You know, you don't want to. You just don't want that big of a deficit, and that—that's on me as much as it's on anybody else. I was asking too much of my kids. I've got Leanne Grider. She played uh, 32 minutes, and you know the kid's tired. Yeah. And uh, I'm still just asking her to grind it out. But uh, you know, we had some freshmen play like freshmen today. We had some kids that didn't have experience play with that today. But that's okay. We'll uh, uh, we'll definitely. I can promise you. When push comes to shove, we're going to compete with anybody out there. We'll find a way. And you're going to have a chance to play this this team again down in Columbia. Sure. Yeah, so. we'll have a chance to play them two, you know, one, maybe two more That's times. Right. And uh, uh, we'll we'll definitely get out there and we'll we'll fix some things that are broke right now. And uh, we'll rest. You know, we'll rest. But we, like I say, we've got to be mentally tougher with what we do. We, uh, I, I thought we had a really good game plan. And in the first half, you saw that. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, the half court sets that where you think you would have a hard time guarding Lindsay and we were supposed to send three back in transition we didn't and I think they had maybe 10 transition points at the half so um, that that was the difference I think it was a 10 point deficit at the half right. and they had 10 transition points at the half but they're they're a great team um, other than than Oak City the year that we played in the finals I don't know that there is I've seen an, a team that athletic and a team that deep they have kids that played a ton of minutes last year that um, that are, aren't even seeing the floor that much this year. And, you know, not because they've gotten worse. It's just because that they've got so many people and they've got so much depth on their team. So uh, it's great for our conference, no doubt about that. Um, 
I, I don't know what all else has happened today. I know the one, obviously, Westmont lost. Obviously, the Mid-American Nas lost. Lindsay's sitting at five. Uh, Our Lady's lost. We've lost. So they've got a chance to, uh, uh, they and Freed, I think, will. The, the Re Freed may jump up to one just because they played a tougher schedule. We're really the first tough, quote, unquote, game that, that they've played. And they, you know, I think they probably had a lot to prove today and wanted to prove. And, uh, you know, they came out and did it. They did everything they needed to do today. Yeah. Well, you get do get some rest. You go mm -hmm. down to Lebanon next uh, Friday against Carver. Right. And that's at 7 o'clock next Friday night. Then you have another break until the following weekend. When right. You have the, and the, we have uh, that classic, classic here. here, which is nice. You know, this is our third home game. So, uh, you know, we'll be glad to get just get back. And that's a, that's a good classic. That's the top three from the previous season in the southern states. So we're hopeful that we can, uh, uh, you know, get some wins with air and uh, – Got they, there's some good teams, but Carver, it, to be honest with you, I don't even know anything about them yet. We've spent so much time with Cumberland U and so much time with Lindsay that uh, we just haven't had time to, you know, we've kept up with their record and a little bit of that. But we'll be we'll be okay. I, I know I love our team. I wouldn't trade us, but uh, we've got to get tougher. You don't have another conference game to after the first of the year. Yeah, you know that's that's the way the schedule just, works uh, out, I guess. That's hard, and you know, and it, you you put somebody like us, we're having to go down and play. Uh, you know, it's just been brutal. I think I'm exhausted mentally. I really am. I've never been this tired mentally at this point in the season. And I know our kids are too. We've asked so much of them to, up to this point. This is the things you ask of them late in the season as opposed to early in the season. And we've asked a lot of them. And uh, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll rest and we're going to watch ourselves and we're going to, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll just, we'll get ourselves back to where we need to be. Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate, Appreciate it. No problem. Right. Coach Ginger Coleman and the Lady Tigers falling here this afternoon to Lindsey Wilson by a score of 88 to 65. As the Blue Raiders, uh, even though actually go to 9 and 0 on the season, 2 and 0 in the conference, Campbellsville drops to 7 and 2 and 1 and 1 in conference play. Looking at some final scores.